peeps we are back from star wars celebration and as you can see in front of me we left with some goodies i thought it might be great to take a minute or a few minutes show you the stuff we picked up during our star wars celebration trip and um talk to you a little bit about the big announcement of star wars celebration coming next year okay so before we open up all these goodies and show you um, I do want to take a minute and mention that during the closing ceremonies of Star Wars Celebration, they announced that Star Wars Celebration 2023 is coming to London April next year. They did not say when tickets will go on sale, um, but uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people were hoping that the next one would go international, and I think a lot of people are excited that it is. Right now, we don't know if we'll be attending. Um, you know, I've never been to London. It's on the bucket list. So that's one reason to go. However, I would also like to see London, not necessarily the inside of a convention center for four days. So we're on the fence. Um, it depends on when tickets go on sale and what it takes to get out there. And, you know, we'll make that decision then. Um, but are you excited that it's going to London? Uh, leave us a comment down below what your thoughts are on Star Wars Celebration going to London. And if you think it'll return stateside, and if that'll be in 2024, or if they'll go back to their um, biannual schedule and maybe we won't have a Star Wars celebration back in the US until 2025. All right, now on to unboxing this stuff. First and foremost, as I mentioned, if you watched our um, Celebration Store tour, I love picking up a program guide for every year that we go to Star Wars Celebration. Uh, so I got my hands on one in the Celebration store. Um, it's just, honestly, you know, it, it, it's got a bunch of articles. It's um, you know, a bunch of articles, some uh, pictures of all the, the guests coming. Um, what is this? You know, some, some items that are up for auction. Just a, a bunch of different stuff. You know, glossy pages, really well put together. And for me, it's it kind of harkens back to when I was a kid and would go to like shows, um, like concerts or big events, live shows, that kind of thing, and picking up the program guide there, like The Circus or Disney on Ice or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on tour. Um, so this was just, you know, this is just like a little guilty pleasure, and I really love the key art this year. Um, you'll see it on a couple of the items that I picked up. So just really want to pick up the program guide. Next up, we're going to go through here and show you some of the shirts that we picked up. Starting with, speak of the devil, the key art t-shirt. Um, so, you know, I normally don't wear shirts with the kind of this tan color, but I really like the key art shirt and hey, it, it gets me out of my comfort zone. Um, so I really did like it. I like the Mandalorian on it and the uh, Darth Maul, the Emperor, Darth Vader. So we picked that up. Um, oh, I don't know what the price on it was, but I'm sure it, was, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. Nothing was cheap at Star Wars Celebration. Next up, one of my favorite characters introduced to Star Wars, maybe ever, is Kieran Gillen's Dr. Aphra. Um, she was introduced in the pages of the Darth Vader comic, and I just, I love the character so very much. I'm glad that they are giving her some love with her own t-shirt, and so I just had to get my hands on that. And returning back to the key art, I picked up the hoodie, um, the key art hoodie. I liked the way it looked. I liked the key art on the bottom. And honestly, one of my favorite aspects of it was inside the hood is, you know, kind of the key art revisited, um, you know, in a couple of different angles and stuff. So I really did like the unique design of it. And so I picked that up as well. Bag number two. We picked from Bandai Namco. Um, this it was not a Star Wars Celebration exclusive, I don't believe. Um, the only Celebration exclusive that Bandai Namco had was the Tamagotchi. But we picked this up because we are just in love with Din Djarin and Grogu. So we picked up the um, Ronin, Mandalorian, Beskar Armor, and Grogu movie realization um, statue. Uh, you know, it is... I, I, I've always wanted to own one of these. Uh, this is my first time picking up one, um, so I guess I, it, it took Rogu to get me to purchase one. Here's some more stuff about it. And uh, 
I don't know, maybe we'll do an unboxing on it. If you're interested in that, let us know. Like, like I said, leave us a comment down below if you're interested in seeing us unbox and put this thing together. But Bandai, Namco, Movie Realization, Roman Mandalorian. Also picked up at Star Wars Celebration, this t-shirt, the Max Rebo t-shirt. This one is not for me. This one is for our friend Kyle at View from the Cheap Seats. He's a big Max Rebo fan. Um, hopefully he likes it. If he doesn't, too bad. It's coming in the mail, Kyle. We also got some free swag from some of the events that we attended at Star Wars Celebration, including, uh, this is the, you can't really see it. Let me see if I can get a little closer. This is the free lanyard they gave out. We did not do the paid lanyard. Didn't really seem like it was worth it um, because I like this one. It's got Obi-Wan on it. So this was free to all attendees and this was just your badge holder. Some additional stuff that we got for free. Um, some swag. We got this, uh, this coaster and this swizzle stick and um, this Star Wars Anaheim 2022 Tiki uh, pin and this chip. We got all of these from Star Wars Tiki Night at Trader Sam's. And I'll put a link to that video or to that video like right up here somewhere. Other free goodies that we got this show before the show sticker, all the DJs um, that were playing pre-show at the Star Wars Celebration stages or while you were in queue gave out this free sticker. So we got one of those. We got this uh, trading card from Rancho Obi-Wan for going through the uh, Mandalorian Museum. Again, I'll put a link up here or you can just look elsewhere on the channel for all our Star Wars Celebration videos and we cover that in the day one video. We got this... Uh, Free Galactic Pals pin from uh, Mattel. We got this free Yoda pin uh, from Bandai Namco for buying that Mandalorian. While we were in queue for one of the panels, we got this Star Wars Black Series badge from, uh, it says Padawan Bear patches. Um, I think it's a follow at Padawan Bear on Instagram. It's also an Etsy shop. And finally, we got this Star Wars 45th anniversary pin from attending the Disney Parks merchandise panel. Um, we actually had uh, some highlights of that in our day two video, I believe, um, from Star Wars Celebration. And really love the logo, love that they hearkened back to the Ralph McQuarrie art for this. All right, so those are all the items we picked up at Star Wars Celebration. However, um, we did go to Disneyland and Downtown Disney while we were there. I picked up a couple of other goodies that were announced at Celebration, including some Disney Parks um, shirts, and um, you can see this thing on my right, which I'm looking forward to showing you. But before we get into that, um, I it's in the wash because I wore it one day while we were there. I picked up the new Andor t-shirt, and I'll put a picture right here so you can see it. Um, though the show has not come out yet, I really liked the design of the shirt. Hopefully the show is good. Um, but regardless, cool Andor shirt, so I picked that up. And I bought that in Downtown Disney, which is also where I bought the next few items, including, and if you watch the video, it's probably no surprise that I went ahead and bought this Obi-Wan shirt, because look, look at that art. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous t-shirt. Um, kind of reminds me a bit of the um, Revenge of the Jedi teaser poster kind of in art. I, I just, I, I I think it's gorgeous. I think it's an absolutely beautiful shirt. Um, and, you know, if, if you've seen the first two episodes of Obi-Wan, let us know what you thought of it. Um, we liked them. I wouldn't say loved them, but I'm looking forward to the rest of the series to see how it continues. I also picked up this water bottle, as if I don't have enough water bottles. I picked up this one, which is, uh, you know, the retro line action figures water bottle. I liked the line, but I couldn't find a specific item that worked for me. Um, some of the t-shirts, I didn't love the designs, but I liked the, the concept of them. The spirit jersey didn't really seem like my style, but you know, you can always use another water bottle. And so I got this one. Um, so fun Star Wars retro collection water bottle. And lastly, the big mamma jamma, 
the Ahsoka Tano limited edition hilts um, collector set. Uh, I went into Disneyland. If you actually, you'll see my experience of picking this up in Disneyland. When I purchased it, they gave it to me literally in the shipping container. Um, and it was like a shipping box, uh, like a, just a cardboard box. And it was huge. It was bigger than this even. And this is pretty heavy. This is wood. Um, and so they gave it to me and I'm like, what do I do with this? Like I'm, I'm, it was at the beginning of my park day and they're like, we don't really have any handles or bags big enough. I had to go to a different store to get a bag that I could walk around with it. But it is, if you are buying this, um, I would, if you have an interest in buying this, I would recommend purchasing it and going outside of Galaxy's Edge to a store that has package hold so that they'll package hold it for you for the rest of the day because it is heavy. It's difficult to walk around with. Um, so that's what I did, but I purchased this. Uh, so this is a limited edition of 6,000. These were released on May the 4th on DisneyParks.com. I'm trying to get it without the glare, but it's got plastic on it, so I'll take off the plastic here in a second. Um, they were released on DisneyParks.com, and now they are starting to become available in the parks. And they were released while we were there, and uh, just kind of went for it. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not reselling this, so for all of you who are freaking out that I'm opening up the plastic. It was never my intent. I don't really resell any of my stuff anyway um, because I just, I buy the stuff I like. I don't buy the stuff that I feel will um, appreciate and value. So one of the things I will say is this, again, this is a limited edition of 6,000. It says so on the bottom of it. Uh, it's, it's hard to see. It's right down here. It says limited edition of 6,000. It is itself not numbered, which I found interesting. For, for an edition size that small, you would think it would be numbered. But here's the front of it, the sides. It is, like I said, it is a wooden box. It's very heavy. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's the front of it without the glare. So I'm going to put it back here so you can see it as I open it. It plays Ahsoka's theme, by the way, when you open it. Oh, it is numbered. I have number 5347 of 6,000. Ahsoka Tano, uh, Legacy Lightsaber Set. In my experience, when you think you understand the Force, you realize just how little you know, is what it says right here inside the, the top of the box. And so... That was awesome that it played Ahsoka Tano's theme. And here are the hilts themselves. Now, it does not come with the blades. It just comes with the hilts. But uh, this is this is pretty baller, guys. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take one of them out. It says press on and press off. But I don't think it has batteries. And like I said, it doesn't come with the blades. But you can, you can put blades on them. But... Here is a closer look. It's actually pretty heavy. There's the button that says press on, press off. I'm pretty sure Ahsoka does not need such instructions, but me being a non-Jedi does. And here's the smaller hilt. And here's another look at it all together. This is it, this is just beautiful um you know this is my i will say this is dangerous for me because i have not gone into the realm of picking up lightsaber hilts before i've always been interested never done it but uh this is my first and it seemed like a good one to go in on all right everyone that is what we picked up at star wars celebration if you were there leave us a comment down below let us know what you picked up what your favorite piece of merchandise was let us know what you like seeing today and um while you're down there make sure you hit that subscribe button the little notification bell as well so that you're notified when we release our next video we have a couple more coming out from our star wars celebration trip not anymore from celebration but we also went to disney's california adventure so we're going to show you avengers campus we also went to Disneyland, checked out Galaxy's Edge, had some great experiences there, including purchasing this bad boy, and really looking forward for you for your thoughts on those videos. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time.